Hey everyone, I'm Julie Smith from The Techie Teacher, and I just wanted to pop on real quickly to show you how easy it is to create your own animated GIFs for your presentations or morning messages that you might have in Google Slides, PowerPoint, or really any program that supports animated GIFs. We're gonna take a look at making GIFs that look like this, where it is a video of yourself that is turned into an animation. So I'm going to pull this off the screen and flip you around to show you how quick and easy this is to do. So let me turn you around. Uh, here is an example of a morning message with an animated GIF of a read aloud. I recently wrote a blog post, 10 Ways to Spark Excitement, when introducing students to read alouds. And this was number nine in that post. And I received a couple of questions about how exactly uh, you can create this GIF and put it into a presentation. Here in Google Slides, it's in edit mode and GIFs will play in both edit mode and presentation mode. But when you go to put in a GIF in PowerPoint, I know in my version of PowerPoint, at least, it does not play when in edit mode, but it will play in presentation mode. So just a heads up about that. But really one of the quickest and easiest ways to create a GIF like that is using the website and then I was like.co. It's not .com, the M is not there. And then I was like.co. And once you go to the website, you just click, I want to make a GIF and it connects your camera. And there is a three second countdown. So I'm gonna click record, three, two, one. And then you just do your thing. It won't pick up audio. And then you just go until you, uh, or until it stops. And you can see you can shave off the beginning or the end so you can crop the video um, that will be turned into a GIF. And once you have it the way that you want it, you click save and you will see that you can post it to social media, Google Plus, which is going away. The There is a URL or an embed code, but I want to save this GIF to plop into my Google Slides presentation. You can either drag and drop it to your desktop, or you can, like I'm on a Mac right now, I'm gonna two finger tap, I PC users, right click, and then you can save your image that way. And then I'm going to go to a Google Slides presentation or a PowerPoint presentation, whatever you wanna use. And then since I drag mine from my desktop, I can just drag it over to the slide or I can go to insert image and pull it through that way. And that was it. So very easy. Hopefully I didn't go too fast here. Um, if you have a video already saved on your phone, like maybe it's your dog jumping in the air or anything else, you can still turn that video into a GIF. There are apps like GIFvid that will allow you to do that. Filmora has a meme maker and all of this stuff that I'm mentioning, I have linked above this video. So just look above and you can see the links that will get you to where you need to go. Um, but Filmora has a meme maker that will allow you to upload any video and it will turn it into a GIF. And then you can also add meme text to it, which is kind of neat. That's free. Uh, GIF vid is not free. I don't remember how much it is. I'll have to look that up, but just so you know, that is not a free app. Uh, but lots of different options, like I said, and then I was like, is the easiest, super quick and easy. You can see that I already have it in my presentation ready to go. Uh, so I hope that helps, uh, you know, those of you who might be wondering how to do something like that. Uh, it's really exciting for the kids to see some sort of animation on the morning message or embedded in a presentation that you might have loaded for them to look at. Uh, lots of different ways that you can incorporate gifts into the classroom. And you can even have the students create their own animations of themselves. Maybe they're holding a project and they're doing some sort of movement that they could then plop into their own presentation. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And as always, uh, feel free to leave any questions below.